Let's look at a problem involving projectile motion. Here we have Steve who is throwing a ball to his friend on top of a cliff. Let's begin by drawing a picture of the situation in order to try to better conceptualize what is going on. We have a ball that is being thrown and that creates a parabolic arc in order to reach the top of a cliff and we want to know how far away the cliff is. We know the position equation, s of t. So let's substitute our known values in. We know v0 as well as theta and g. So let's substitute those values into the function. Simplifying, we get s of t is equal to 10 root 2 ti plus the quantity 10 root 2 t minus 4.9 t squared. Remember that the coefficient of i is the horizontal component and the coefficient of j is the vertical component. We know that when the ball reaches Steve's friend, it will be 10 meters above the ground. So let's set the vertical component equal to 10. Notice that we have a quadratic equation. So let's get all the terms on one side of the equation. This equation is not factorable, so we'll use the quadratic equation to find the roots. So we have 10 root 2 plus or minus the square root of 10 root 2 squared minus 4 times 4.9 times 10 all over 2 times 4.9. If we simplify all of this and then approximate it, we get t is approximately equal to 1.24 and 1.65. This means that the ball will be 10 meters above the ground 1.24 seconds after it is thrown and 1.65 seconds after it is thrown. So how do we know which value of t to use? Well, notice in the image that the ball will actually be 10 meters high twice during its trajectory, once as it goes up and once more as it comes down. We want the time for when it comes down, so we'll use the second value of t, 1.65. So we want to find s of 1.65. Simplifying each component, we get 23.33i plus 10j. Notice that the vertical component is equal to 10, so we can verify that the ball will be 10 meters above the ground. The horizontal component is the distance that the bottom of the cliff is from Steve. Therefore, the bottom of the cliff must be about 23.33 meters away from Steve.